Criminals broke into five law enforcement vehicles overnight and stole weapons. They knew what they were doing and what they wanted. News 13's Maria Medina is live in Rio Rancho with more. Well, it seems the thief or thief t thieves targeted take-home law enforcement vehicles. They broke into each one of those the same way. All but one happened pretty close to each other, and this is one of the Rio Rancho subdivisions hit last night. No one seemed to hear a thing. Investigators say the crooks broke a window, then unlocked the doors. And then that way the alarm doesn't go off. Once inside, they went for one thing. This is an AR-15 rifle. This is real similar to the one that was stolen. This was no quick crime. Whoever broke in, they knew how to release it. Rifles and law enforcement vehicles are usually locked into place until someone starts the ignition. What they actually used to um, break the lock that released the rifle out, we don't know. That's still under investigation. And Santa Paul County Sheriff John Paul Trujillo believes whoever hit the state police car also stole rifles from two of his deputies' vehicles. Sheriff, this is um, like the vehicle that was <clears throat> broken yes. into? Yeah. Thieves also broke into a Bernalillo County Sheriff's unit and stole a rifle inside. Those three thefts happened overnight in northwest Albuquerque and Rio Rancho. Albuquerque police say one of its take-home cars was also broken into in the northeast part of town, and a taser was stolen. It's APD's policy that firearms be removed from vehicles overnight. Are you going to be asking your deputies to take out their rifles now? Uh, well, we're going to be changing some, some things around, and, and uh, we're going to just see how we can better uh, secure the weapons. And state police say they've asked their officers to take their rifles inside their homes. Back to you. Thanks, Maria. Ammo and a digital camera were also stolen. Call Crime Stoppers if you have any information.